what relics we get, we'll be able to adjust our plans even more. So I think I'm going to do this tier list twice. Uh, once now, we're in September, and then when we get an another announcement on leagues, maybe even the week before, when we know more about the relics we're going to get, um, or any more information on the league, if there is any, we will do another tier list to um, maybe adjust our plan a little bit. But this is going to give you a rough idea of what I'm going to do for leagues and what I think you might want to do too if you're on the fence. And we're, we're just tiering the regions based on the content that they provide for leagues, uh, of Trailblazer specifically, of course, um, and how fun they were for me last time, how fun I think they could have been. And that's about it, really. There's not really too much else to discuss on these, uh, these tiers. There's uh, only a handful of them to go through. I think it's also important to remember that you are guaranteed the Miss Allen and Karamja regions at the start, right? You're guaranteed those uh, tiers, uh, those uh, regions, sorry. And then you get to pick three other regions. So you're going to customize your own game. Everyone's going to have a different experience. And obviously, if you make a new account, you can choose three different regions. Um, I think, I, I don't know if there's going to be a relic. There was going to be one last league in Leagues 2, but they chose to scrap. I'm willing to bet that this league round they're going to bring the relic in, which is one of the final tiers. I'd say a tier seven relic, where you will have access to another another region for a temporary period of time, whether it's for a day or half a day or a certain amount of hours. You'll be able to unlock another region, which means you'll get more access to more content. Okay, so let's start off with what I assume is Karamja, guaranteed unlock at the start of the league. You get what you are. You get what you give me, Karamja, which means you, everyone's guaranteed access to the Fire Cape, to the Inferno, to Tybo, One Eye, Shiloh Village, uh, the um, what the, what are they called? Karambran fishing. Karamja has a lot to offer. I don't really think um, there's anything wrong with the region, but I think uh, maybe uh, no, I think Karamja is actually it's got a lot of content, but it's also really dead. Like you have access to the Undercity, right? The Tazar, but the island of Karamja is just filled with nothing. Slayer Cave. You you mean the the, the Brimhaven, Brimhaven Dungeon, right? It's a solid B. It, B probably is pretty fair. Duradel, yeah, you get Duradel, that's true. Yeah, but does Duradel matter if there's a sigil that will, a relic, sorry, that will let you choose your own Slayer, slayer task? Hi, howdy, welcome to the membership, thank you. And, and uh, Wheelers, I, I am genuinely thankful for the donation. I appreciate it very much, thank you. Agility Arena? Yeah, Agility Arena, because there's no, no other region you pick is going to have a fucking rooftop. Yeah, come on, let's talk about content that matters. The Fire Cape Inferno, maybe Shiloh Village. That's about it. Is this some leagues area tier list or just general? Uh, this is specific for leagues four. If shots restock when reopening, they do, yes. Yeah. So you get a nice crafting training method with gems. Um, yeah, I guess you could argue that for sure. Gemstones, yeah. Banana Plantation, <laughs> fuck off. Guess it would only matter for the uh, amount here, signs. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um... It's a mandatory region, but I, I think just, I mean, in general, the island of Karamja, have a look. The island of Karamja is really just like where the next raid should be or something because there's just a lot of dead space on this island, which means a lot of running. If you don't get a uh, unlimited run energy as a guaranteed relic like the last time they did Trailblazer, even if you want to use this island for its many features in this area, you're going to run out of run energy, almost nothing, so... I think, um, while it is a free unlock, I think it's a free unlock for a good reason, because it's shit, and no one would pick it otherwise, so, except for people that want to do the Inferno. So I'm going to put Karamja in D tier, and if it wasn't free, it would be a lot lower. But it being a free guaranteed unlock at the very start, makes it D tier. Raids 4 should be Zara Jungle, yes it should. Alright, moving forward to Lumbridge, which one's Lumbridge? Lumbridge would be, uh, this one here, right? Eh? Miss Stalin, yeah, Lumbridge and Varrock. So this is Lumbridge, Varrock, Fossil Island, um, Barbarian Village, Drainer, not Falador, not Goblin Village, none of that shit, okay? Uh, this offers a lot more than Karamja. Abitol part of Karamja? No, I would imagine that Gnome is part of Karamja. Um, so Miss Stalin, I believe, um, is better value than Karamja in every way because you have Varrock, which gives you the Rune Shop, which in Leagues, we know if you close the shop, reopen it, restocks. Uh, you have Lumbridge, which is everyone's hometown, right? You have Drainer Village, and you start off with level 10 agility, so you have access to rooftop immediately. Fossil Island is like an Iron Man's wet dream. Um, there's a lot more content here. You don't have the desert, remember that? 
You do have Wizard's Tower, but you don't have Guardians of the Rift. Remember that. But it's a free unlock, um, and it's a very free unlock. Very good free unlock. So I think uh, Mist Island is probably B tier. Everyone's going to be happy with that. Everyone's going to be using that region a lot more. And it'll have a lot of opportunity. Uh, and it'll, it'll open up a lot of opportunity for players, obviously. It's a, it's a great starting area. No one's really going to complain that they have to start in Lumbridge. Absolutely great as a free unlock. Absolutely. But I, I don't think people will complain that... If, if you started in... If everyone started in Mauritania, for example, for free, I think you'd have a lot more complaints. So, that's good. What region is, is Guardians? Desert. We'll do Mauritania now, uh, since I just pulled it out. Mauritania. I did not do Mauritania last time. Um, a lot of people I know did, but I did not. Um, I, I'm thinking about going Mauritania this time because I think for Sunny Nightmare and, and Theatre of Blood is something that I, I miss doing and I want to go and just um, really just steamroll a lot of that content. So I think Mauritania is something I'm going to tackle personally. You do get for Sunny Nightmare, you do get Theatre of Blood, you also get Salve Amulets which I think are pretty handy depending on what other content you decide to do. You also get access to Barrows of course which is going to give you decent endgame tank gear. Um, obviously major range gear as well um, What else is there that you're going to get? I think you get the Slayer Tower, which is big gargoyles, abyssal demons, you're guaranteed whips, you're guaranteed granite moles Guaranteed decent money for an Iron Man uh, You get the Ectophantus for fast prior XP if you're desperate um, I believe you also get Mossley Harmless and Harmony Island through here So Cave Horrors, which means Black Mask, which means Slayer Helmet, I don't think I'm not sure if you, you might, it might be an auto unlock, I don't know if you don't go Mauritania, you might not be able to get a Slayer Helmet at all. If I think about it. So, I don't think that matters in leagues. I don't, I don't know if Slayer Helmet is super important. Because of how fast you're going to level Slayer. Because of how you'll probably be able to choose your own Slayer task anyway. And uh, relics are, like combat relics are probably going to help you with combat to the point that the Slayer Helmet might not be that important. Because um, let's be honest, if you're going to go endgame bossing, endgame raiding, you don't use your Slayer Helmet anyway. So... That could be an argument you might want to make for yourself, but I think the Slayer Helmet will become dead content pretty quickly. Just thinking about it right now, I haven't thought about it long enough, but I think otherwise, um, in terms of endgame content, especially Mauritania, I think you can go A tier. I think it offers a lot. Um, I don't think you can go wrong choosing Mauritania. I think it, you've got a decent choice. Like, let me let me pull up a map here as well. Let's, let's look at a map together. That way we can um, see if we remember anything important. The, the official RuneScape map on the website. Mauritania, what do we got over here? Um, no one cares about sleep. You have Dark Mare, holy shit. Yeah, Dark Mare, look at that. Good thing we pulled the map up. Dark Mare means that you get Blood Shards as well, which is awesome. Shades of Morton, no one cares. Burgundy Rot's full of homeless people. Uh, Montmire Swamp is gay, so... Yeah, I think it, it's it's not bad at all. Absolutely not bad. The Slayer Tower, the Raid, the Nightmare, the Dark Mare, the Boys in the Hood, so... Yeah. I think, I think Swamp is, is pretty pretty strong. Sepulcher? Uh, yes, yeah, Sepulcher. Big. Snail Helmet, though? What the fuck do you want Snail Helmet for? What do you mean, Snail Helmet? This will be your first league to get into play? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Swamp is good. Swamp is very good. Nah, to be honest, I think Swamp is B tier. Swamp is good, but then I think about like, other regions... Nah, Swamp is A tier. Swamp is an A tier choice. Other regions, but the content it provides. Yeah, Swamp is A tier. Absolutely. I think. Yeah, no, it is. I think it's A, it, it's a for me personally, but it might be B for more people than me. I think it's A because I really like The Nightmare, and I really like Theater of Blood, and I really want to do them. So I think I've just got to buy Swords Mauritania. I think A. A is probably more fair. Wilderness. I did Wilderness last time we had Trailblazer. Wilderness. I will tell you right now, Wilderness is. Uh, wilderness. In Trailblazer was the most fun I ever had until the Wilderness update recently. I went Wilderness as my second uh, region unlock, and I was the only one out there. I had rev caves to myself, and I was absolutely just bottling cunts when, when I unlocked my third region. So, uh, in my opinion, Wilderness was great last time we had leagues. This time we have leagues, Wilderness will not be great. Wilderness will be perfect. Wilderness will be the best possible, in my opinion, one of the best possible regions to choose. I don't think there is a bad play to choose Wilderness. Now, you must remember, you will get PK'd, and if you get PK'd, I don't know if you'll be able to get loot keys. If you get loot keys, you've lost your shit. If you can't get loot keys, which they should disable loot keys, really, you can go back and get your stuff, so you're fine. Right? You can pick it up. Provided you get there in time. But otherwise, excuse me, the Wilderness this time around offers a lot more content. The Rev Ks are a lot better because there's no multi this time. 
it's all singles plus. But you also have the new rework bosses, big and small. Void Waker is now available. Wilderness Clue Steps, because they're locking the clues to the areas uh, immediately, which is awesome. You have uh, you have Lava Dragon Isle. Prayer, done. You have the Chaos Altar. Prayer, done. Fountain of Rune, if you're desperate and want to enchant some jewelry, I guess. I don't fucking know. Demonic Ruins is free prayer. You have Scorpia, who's garbage, but it's free Scorpia. They're probably going to have the... So they haven't done it yet, but remember in Pole 80, the Rogue's Castle, the, the chest that you see from there, they pulled to make that loot better and that pass. So that's probably going to be done before the league starts. So you have better thieving loot at Rogue's Castle. I bet a lot of you guys didn't fucking think about that, did you? That's why I'm the king. I've got the big brain. Majorino, Majorino 2. This cave at the back here has great monsters to kill. Agility Arena. You're in the wilderness. You've got nothing to lose. It's free content. Why not? Mage Bank. Free runes. Close the shop. Reopen it. Muddy Keys suit. Muddy Keys are shit, all right? King Black Dragon is good. Downside of the Wilderness, you may get PK by the King. Um, I don't think I'm going to choose Wilderness this time around. Wilderness is on my maybe list. I would, but for what I want to do this league round, I'm not sure if I'm going to choose Wilderness. I think I'm going to do leagues on two accounts, and one of them will have the Wilderness, and then I, then I will go PKing, I think. And if you go PKing, I'm going to gatekeep your shit till it despawns, so watch out for that. But Wilderness is a great place. They're reworking Muddy Keys. Oh, they are. Okay, they're even better then. Muddy Keys and Rose Castle. Beautiful. Founder can be used for free magic cards if you're desperate to elk shit. You don't... You do get gold. You just don't get XP from a Fountain of Rune. Yes, so that's even better. Just remember, yeah, Fountain of Rune doesn't give you XP, but it is unlimited runes. Uh, Bounty Hunter is probably going to be locked out. Let's be real. It might not be. Chaos Temple for Elder Druid. Um, you got Black Chins. You got Black Salamanders. Wilderness offers a lot more content this time around than it used to. Larynx Keys if you do Wildy Slayer. But that provides you... And you have Edgeville unlocked with Miss Stalin, don't you? So yeah, you can do Wilderness Slayer. Even better. It's perfect. And which also gives you the Edgeville Dungeon too. Wilderness Edgeville Dungeon. You have the Frogs of Redrew Pool. Yep, it's perfect. Wilderness offers a lot of content. Um, and a lot more this year. And I think the PK aspect is really fun too. God Wars? No. That's not, uh, Wilderness God Wars, yes. Doing the reserve for reverse psychology. Making everyone go to the world for less competition elsewhere. No, no. Wilderness I genuinely think is really good. I'm not going to do it myself, I don't think, as a main um, a main uh, region, I don't think. But Resource Arena is is another great reason to go there. So, I think when I do my second account in leagues, I will probably go Wilderness and just rush PK. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Next up, we have Fremenic. Last year, let me just make sure it's the right size. Last time, I didn't go Fremenic because I think, at the time, I felt Fremenic didn't really offer much. Uh, Fremenic auto-completed De Dragon Slayer 2 for you. Uh, which gave you Vorkarf. What else does Fremenic give you? Fremenic gives you um, Dagonoff Kings for rings, which we know are shit. Um, what else do you get out of Fremenic? Lunar Spellbook, Lunar Isle, Kingdom Miscellanea, Need Is Not. Um, in my opinion, Fremenic was uh, a big fucking waste of time. You get Basilisk Knights. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it this time around. I think Fremenic, again, is another waste of time. The Duke, Muspar, you will have... You will... I don't know if you'll have it in Fremenic, to be honest, because Troll Stronghold was um, Asgarnia, not Fremenic. So I don't know if your Weast will be um, Asgarnia too. That's not Fremenic. So Muspar and Duke will be likely Asgarnia, not Fremenic. No. Entrance to Weast um, and, and Troll Stronghold and Gobble's Dungeon was all Asgarnia, which is part of... Um, Falador, Goblin Village, Berthold, not Frem. So I don't think that's going to count. Even though I know that the diary, the achievement diary does have Gobble's Dungeon. Yeah, I don't think it's the case. You get Gobble's from Fremnik, no? No. Gobble's was Asgarnia last time. Because I went Asgarnia and had Gobble's. So I think if that's the case again, Fremnik is going to be pretty F tier. Just like last time. Not worth it. Absolutely not worth choosing, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. It's not worth it. Every other region provides so much more content for you. Next, we have Asgarnia. This was the controversial section last time, I think, for a lot of players. So I've got to turn the music down. So, Asgarnia was a little controversial. Barbarian Assault, though. Barbarian Assault? For what? Barbarian Assault isn't... Feminic, right? Barbarian Assault was part of, um... Okay, two things. One, I don't think Barbarian Assault was part of Feminic. 
And and two, how the fuck? What do you mean barbarian assault though? Like, oh, legs four. But what about barbarian? Fuck. Sh what you're doing? Fuck. It's legs four. The fuck you doing BA for? What what do you? What are you holding out for, for a fighter tour so? Oh, I like, can't wait to do that barbarian assault league, leagues. Good luck finding a fucking team. The fuck do you mean? Like that's gonna justify it even if it was for a minute. Come on, man. But my strength bonus, the precious trinkets. Come on, dude. The fuck over yourself. Use your brain, all right? Come on. Don't comment dumb shit in my chat. All right, Asgarnia, I think, was the controversial um, spot. One of the controversial regions last time because um, Asgarnia offered God Wars Dungeon, which is... But didn't have next at the time, and this time does. It offered a lot of content. Didn't you didn't have Missouri last time either, right? So it was like it offered the content that would bridge the end game gap. Not only that, it also gave you defenders, and does give you defenders this time around. Tavali Dungeon, um, which uh, gives you Cerberus. You also got, um, I guess, Remington as well, which is, eh, okay. I think you got Entrano out of it because it gave you Port Sam. I'm pretty sure this fence line was the the gap. So then you got Falador, which gave you the Mining Guild, uh, the Motherlobe Mine, and whatever other garbage goes on under there. So Asgarni, I think, again, does provide a lot of value. Defenders are big. And I went I went Wilderness, then I went Asgarni, and I went and got God Swords, and I went back to the Wilderness, and I just fucked people trying to learn the Wilderness because they chose Wilderness third. So they were trying to do reds, and I just went through and I just fisted everyone with a fucking long sword. Oh, uh, god sword, sorry. Asgani was really good. Sorry, um, yeah, Asgani was really good. Um, for the games room alone, what? We got Amethyst uh, this time around. We have Amethyst, we have Nex. We have, um, Weiss, which will also give us, yeah, the Duke and the Phantom Must Bar now, provided you do the quest. It, I think, I think some, if you want to unlock the Duke, and you want to unlock Phantom Maspa, I think you're going to have to unlock specific other regions though. Like if you don't unlock Desert, you're probably not going to get the Duke at all or something. I can't remember how it works exactly. So don't be surprised if you can't access that content. But um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think, I think you got, did you get Cathabe? Maybe you didn't get Cathabe. I can't remember. Mass next on leagues is going to be ridiculous. Uh, yes, it will. But you can probably sell the next on leagues. I rushed top and pulled solo south 3 KC. How do you do? That's awesome. Time of Kitty, thank you for the two bucks, man. I appreciate it. Next is going to get the lead in five seconds. Yeah, next will get destroyed. Should be awesome. Is CG rush worth it on leagues? I don't think so. No. Um, so Asgani this time around, I think, provides a lot more content. But I think when you... you in the grand scheme of things... Last time, um, Asgani provided a great amount of essential content. And I think not choosing Asgani, you did lose a lot of that. But I think this time around, you can actually give up as Asgarni. It provides a lot of great content even now, right? Of course. But the Defender, I think, is is not as relevant this time around. I, I, th I think the Defender isn't as relevant this time around. Um, and I think while BCP and... and uh, so Banners and Torva is great. Um, I think you could probably just get away with not wearing melee gear. Uh, when you're doing content, like you can do top on leagues without wearing Torva and, and Bandos. I know people are going to get upset with that, but um, I don't think it's. I, I think there's better content and better better drops to be acquired, especially if you're chasing things like Tebos and Shadows. You're probably going to want to unlock content that complements those items more. Rogues Den stamina pods. Uh, I, it's it's likely you're going to have a relic. Uh, everyone's going to have unlimited run by default. That's what happened last time we had Trailblazer. Every, everyone had 100% run, so stamina won't matter. Will Pyta be Asgarni or Kandaran? I believe it'll be Kandaran. Over here, Camelot. So I think this time around Asgarni might actually be a C tier pick. I think last legs it was probably A, maybe B, but I think it's C tier this time around. I don't think it's as important. I think uh, content, I think places like the desert are too, too important now. The desert's a big one. Last time desert, anyone that chose desert I think wasn't very bright. Um, I, I know a couple of people that chose the desert um, because they felt, I guess, Ancients was essential. Last time, Desert was F tier. Okay. This time, I think Desert is S tier. Absolutely. I'm not choosing Desert. I I, 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 I do not think I'm going to choose Desert. There's like a 1% chance I'm choosing Desert this league. <clears throat> I don't want to do TOA. I don't care about the Shadow. I don't care about Missouri. I don't want to do TOA. I don't think TOA offers enough 
for me to want to do it, all right? The relics are going to defeat the need for the, the fang. And if I'm not going to go for a defender, okay, because I'm not going to choose Ang Asgarnia, then I don't need to worry about content like a fang. I will just pray for a fucking siphon. I'll swing that at ship. Everyone's an Iron Man on League, yes. Um, Agility Pyramid is dead content. Tempros would be great. I think Tempros would be awesome. Um, I just think I, I should be fine without it. I'll find food another way. Um, I don't know... I, I I'm, don't assume you're going to have Desert Treasure 1 and 2 unlocked just for choosing Desert. Um, but Ancient Vault is there, if, if that's the case. Cowfight Queen, which means Dragon Pickaxe, so... That might not be a bad shout. Can't wait for MTA on leaves. There's likely going to be a relic that um, helps with content like Maze Train Arena. So you spend like maybe two hours in there to unlock bonus of peaches and a wand and everything rather than spending 18 hours. So MTA is likely going to be good with the relics. Uh, you get Guardians of the Rift with the Desert too. You get Giant's Foundry. Uh, both of those are great content. Guardians of the Rift is huge for runecrafting, huge for rune supplies. Uh, Giant's Foundry is great for money, great for smithing XP. Of course, it's excellent. Um... I just don't think that the desert is for me. I don't think I want it this time around. It's great content and it's, it's definitely complimented, uh, been complimented a lot from the game and the updates since the last Trailblazer, but I, I ain't fucking with it this time around. No, sir. Desert is ET if you enjoy TOA, if you don't enjoy TOA. I think I think it requires you to enjoy TOA to, to want to... In fact, I might even make Desert A tier, to be honest, because of points like that. I think that is very valid. I think if you don't want to do TOA, the desert becomes pretty fucking... It, it's great, and it's got good content, but I don't think it becomes worth it over specific areas. Like, because we don't know, at this current point in time, I know, but at this current point in time, we don't know if you're going to have Desert Treasure 1 and 2 available to you or unlocked if you choose desert, which removes a lot of the content that you might want. Think DT2 will be auto-unlocked because it can't be completed? Well, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be auto unlocked. It, maybe it will. But then, what does Desert Treasure Two being auto unlocked for you in Desert Tre in in the desert do? There's no boss in the desert, right? So, would de having Desert Treasure Two unlocked from choosing the desert, then you have to choose another region for the Desert Treasure Two boss you want to fight, which is going to be as um, as Garnia. No, yeah, as Garnia for Ice Mountain. It's going to be uh, Karen for Vardavis. Asgarnia again for Duke, so Asgarnia might be the play. And then where the fuck's the Leviathan? Oh, Leviathan's in the desert. Yeah, you get Leviathan. No, yeah. Des desert will give Leviathan because um, of Guardians of the Rift. Good call. Yeah. So you might get that. That's true. Yeah. What if the players to unlock the desert and the ring gives you access to the boss areas only? No, that won't be the case. I don't think. That sounds fucked. But I don't think... What you got to remember is that Desert Treasure 1 and 2 aren't part of the Desert Storyline. They're part of the... What's, what's the name? The Mejorati... Mesh, whatever. The Mahat... Child Molester... Whatever it is. I don't know. The Mejorati fucking line. The Desert Quest line is TOA. There you go. Mejorat. That's it. Yeah. That's not Desert Quest line. Mejorat is different to Desert. Desert is Desert Treasure 2 and uh, Beneath Curse Sand. Not Desert Treasure 2, sorry. I'm Tens of the Mascot and Beneath Curse Sand. So, the Desert being the choice... I think maybe S tier wasn't overshot. I think A, and you could probably even argue B tier if you really wanted to for the desert. I think that's probably more fair. I think. That's what makes the, the wilderness so good at S tier is because if you get if you choose the wilderness, you pretty much have all the content there. There's no if, ands, or buts of what you could potentially miss out unless you have another region. The wilderness complements itself entirely because it is a standalone arena, right? Looking forward to this, but now I'm confused. It's okay. We'll do another tier list and assessment later. On top of why is the low income, low income shirt available in a kid size? That's kind of fucked, you know? Well, no. What if you want to, you know, get one for your kids? What if there's a midget that wants a shirt? Um, Leviathan is locked by Gardens of the Rift, uh, but you access it from the Wizard's Tower. Yes, but the Gardens of the Rift um, quest start is in the desert. Gardens of the Rift, Wizard's Tower is in Mist Allen, but the quest for Gardens of the Rift is in desert. Which is why it's a desert lock quest. Right? I'm late to the party. Is the tier list based on textile? Mage range melee? What? It's it's region based, cunt. What do you mean a textile? Are you saying get wildy and grind all this stuff? No, I think wilderness is just a really good pick. I, I think you can't go wrong if you pick the wilderness at the end of the day. Regardless of what you pick. Next we have Kandaran. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to Kandaran. Now, Kandaran was pretty much everyone's pick. A lot of some people didn't pick Kandaran. I get that, but 
the reality is, last time this league happened, Kandarin was a big pick. Because everyone, like, like look at the size. Kandarin counted Feldup Hills. It didn't count Corsair Cove. That was Fermini because of Dragon Slayer, I believe. But Kandarin gave you Feldup Hills... Uh, Gu, Gu Tanoth, Castle Wars, Yanil, Trino and Village, Fight Arena. It gave you Observatory, Battlefield. It gave you Monastery. It gave you Argen, Hugen, Schmugen, Dugan. It gave you, uh, I think it gave you even Underground Pass or half of it, maybe. I can't remember. It gave you Trino Stronghold. It gave you Piscarillus and, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Piscatorus and the Fishing Colony. It gave you Barbarian Outpost. It gave you the Waterfall. It gave you Catherby. I think it gave you Catherby. It gave you Camelot, Sears Village, Sinclair Mansion. This was all Kandaran. Fishing Guild, Witch Haven. All Kandaran. Port Kazard. It gave you all of that. You got a lot of this unlocked. The problem with it was, I, I did choose it. The problem with this area is that this is all mid-game content. Let's be real. There aren't really many bosses... If any, there aren't really many high-end quests, if any. I think it even gave you Apatol, maybe, as well. This is before Monkey Madness 2, as well, to be fair. I don't know if you're going to have to do the quests or not. I'm not sure. But this is really... This was a great uh, system for points and tasks, but once you reached, like, Tier 5, Tier 6, once you unlocked your third area, you rarely came back here unless you needed it, right? Tridents, you get Tridents this... No, we had Tridents last time, that's true, yeah. Zenites, I don't think, were there last time, though, if I remember correctly. Um, do you think Mauritania is okay to unlock if you don't know Tob? I think Mauritania is great to unlock if you don't know Tob, because there's not a better time to learn Tob than when you can do it in Leagues 4. Understand the raid. At least see what it looks like. Get a feel for it. Absolutely. They were last time, just FYI. Oh, Zenite was? There you go. I didn't go for Zenite last time, then, clearly. Um, so, I, I think Kandaran offers a lot of content. But I think you have to do it first. It has to be your first unlock. Or second. I think the drawback is that the content is limited. Look forward to learning all the rages. Absolutely, yeah, that's a good shout. Kandaran into desert would be decent if you like TOA. Kandaran into desert would be good. Kandaran into anything is good, to be honest. You have so like you have the whole Ardone. You have the marketplace for thieving. You have the knights for thieving. What else do you have in Ardone? Not a whole lot, really. But you've got Fire Giants in the Waterfall. You've got Otto's Grotto, which means you get Mithril Dragons as well. Which means, obviously, Dragon Full Helmet, which is cool. Um, Barbarian Assault for that fuckface in the chat. That was one of their fighter tours, though. Uh, what else do you have here? You have Neve and the Slayer Cave, which is big. You have uh, Elemental Workshop, which is a quest for great XP, of course. You get Piety and you get Chivalry from the Prayers, which is massive. Uh, and, as well as Sears Rooftop, which is great for Agility XP. Excellent for agility XP. Uh, Legends Guild, which possibly means Legends Quest as well, uh, which is also big. You have the Tower of Life. We're probably not going to need that though in this, let's be real. Uh, Wizards Guild, good for Mystic, free Mage Gear. You have a great hunt area, Red Chin Chompers. Smoke Dungeon, um, yeah, it's Smoke Dungeon, absolutely right. Occult, massive. Zenites, of course. Um, and then I believe you also get over here, which will give you Tridents. Um, you'll get, uh, what are they called? The, the tentacles as well. Really good for points, and there was not much high-end content compared to now. Yeah, that's true. Monkfish, if you're desperate. I think, I think this place can provide a lot of content, but I, I think it's very... It lacks end-game content. So I think, for that reason, I think you can argue this is either a C or B tier area. Maybe, maybe B tier, because I think, at the end of the day, you can't really go... No, I think, I think C tier. I think CT because you can have a great time in leagues without it. But you can't go wrong if you do pick it, right? You can ignore Kandaran and be fine. But if you pick Kandaran, you've at least got a lot of content. And that can push you into the other tiers faster. But once you reach the end game of leagues, which we will all get to that point, even just past the midway point, you're going to be like, I wish I chose somewhere else. I think you will regret it later. Uh, next, we've got Tiranwin. Tiranwin. I didn't choose this last time, unfortunately. I think it's worse than Asgani, so C sounds fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, I think the Elf place, I, I didn't choose this last time, but from what I heard, it was actually pretty good. Um, I don't think anything has changed since the last time we had Trailblazer, right? Hot tier list will be uploaded as a video. It will, yes. So, the Elf place... Yeah, I, th I think it's the exact same as it was last time we did Trailblazer. They haven't really done much since. So, okay, no, Cotagonal, Zorab, what else? You, that's it. But 
What else? That's the thing. Zolcano, Crabby Golden Zora. What else do you need? Bofa, exactly. Priff is uh, pretty high tier, exactly. I can't see him Priff on this map because that's just what's on the website. But you get the Gauntlet, you get Crystal Trees, you get Zolcano, you get the Rooftop, you get the Slayer Cave there as well, and the Mine there in Priff, which are both great. You've got Red Chin Chompers. So if you don't choose Kandarian for Red Chins or Wilderness or Black Chins, you still have Red Chins at the top here, which is great. You've got Zora, which is a great supply. Obviously, you've got Blowpipe, uh, Trident, and stuff of the Dead Upgrade if you have uh, Kandarian or Gobbles, and you have the Surf Helm, which is just a great helmet overall. Uh, but then also with Zora, you get Antidotes, which is big for poison resistance. You get decent, just, just drops in general, right? It's awesome. All the drops from him uh, will, will help you out completely. You get Halberds, Dragon Halberds from Zora, Gauntlet, and from the shop here. Um, Letia gives you dies, I guess, if you want to, you know, die shit. That, that, that's cool. Um... Priff offers a lot of endgame high-end content. If you want to learn the gauntlet, great time to go to Priff. It's excellent. Um, and then that Bofa will pretty much complete the rest of the game for you, right? You can get away with everything with the Bofa. I think the Elf Place provides a lot of endgame content. You can't pick it early. But I, I think it's just still really... It's probably going to make people feel really um, restricted and at, uh, towards the end as well once you complete it. I feel like you could complete it really quickly. Monty Python Bunny? Yeah, no, yeah sure, but for, for, for points, maybe. I think Elf might be um, C tier as well, even maybe even B. B because the content it provides is really good, but I think choosing Elf, I think you're probably going to be in a situation where you'll probably get the drops because you're going to get boosted drop rates. You'll get it completed relatively quick and then kind of wish you went somewhere else, I think. Uh, I think if you chose the Elf place second, it would be better than choosing it last, I think. Which leaves us with uh, Kebos, Slowlands, and Great Crane, which I think Anon are the same. They're actually doing this. I thought they were going to do this as two separate places. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of Kebos, Slowlands, I think. Because I'm pretty sure this is all one region. What the fuck? This is all one region. So we'll just go Great Crane, Great Crane which is Kebos, Slowlands at the same time, okay? Um, I don't think there's... If I'm wrong on that, let me know. But I believe that they said they're going to be combined. This is S tier. There is no denying it. I think, while not everyone will choose Kebos and Karend, I think there is no denying that there is nowhere on in RuneScape in Gilnor that offers as much content as Karend. And if it's all one area, I'm surprised they did this as one unlock. I would have thought they did Kebos, which would cut the line at the Shazian Wall um, and maybe around the battlefront. So you don't get Mount Karaum Farming Guild or anything Kebos unless you chose Kebos. I thought they would have split it up. But they haven't. You're getting the whole fucking... Can we just, like... You get this whole region in one unlock. And I think unless you have a specific game plan you want, you would be an idiot not to pick Corrend. I guarantee you, almost everyone will pick Corrend. This would be like a 90%, maybe 85 at minimum, 85% pick. First, last... Middle, doesn't matter which order you pick Karend in, it is a dub. A fat dub. You have We know what we have, right? You have Runecrafting, Bloods and Souls. You have Winter Todd. You have the Arceus Library for, well, you want to do the favor, right? So you'll get, you, you might even auto unlock favor. I doubt it, but I hope they don't do auto unlock favor just so there's some incentive to grind it. And then obviously that'll be tar some points. Um, so you have the library for free mage and Runecrafting XP early on if you wanted to. Uh, Piscarillus gives you Anglerfish. Hosidius gives you a great farming patch, gives you uh, free cooking, gives you Seracnus, Red Dragons, and a uh, good place to burst shit. Tie Farm, free farming XP. You have the Woodcutting Guild, you've got the, uh, you got Grey and maybe Red Chins down here as well, so you can ignore Prif and Kandaran completely. At that point, you've got Shazen for Shazen Gear, which gives you Lizardmen, Shamans, Dragon Warhammer. Right, you've got the Catacombs of Koran. Let's not even begin to talk about how the Catacombs of Koran is one of the greatest places in the in, in the game, right? The map is kind of fucked though because some of the squiggly lines are paths uh others are dead ends. What do you mean? On, on this map, yeah, the map's kind of yeah, it's it's so dumb, hey. I see what you mean, yeah, like up here and shit near the Forsaken Tower. The blast mine, I don't know if anyone does blast mine, but you've got it. Um, what else do you have over here? You've got the Farming Guild, you've got Konar Slayer, and you've got the Hydra. Does Konar work with regions? Konar would only give you the Slayer tasks that work in specific regions, I would imagine. 
Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. Golden Trench, yeah, true. You got Golden Trench, Aerial Fishing, Free Hunter. You have Chambers of Zarek. Do I need to say any more? I think Corend is the best pick for anyone. And I think you can pick it first, you can pick it second, you can pick it third, it doesn't matter. Picking it is a big fucking win. You cannot go wrong. Absolutely. You get Vardavis too, if you have access to Desert Treasure too. Absolutely. Farming Guild is massive. Absolutely, yes. So, I put Corend in S tier. What am I going to pick? So far, I think what I'm going to do... You already have Miss Allen, you have Karamja. What am I going to pick? Uh, wrong one, hold on. Okay, I think I'm going to pick... I'll save all these so I can, um... Merge them. Merge layers. Sparse eyes, cool. I think what I'm going to pick... Uh, obviously, we, we get we get Miss Allen. Make it red so we can see better. We get Miss Allen. We get Karamja. I'm going to pick Great Karend. I'm going to pick Mauritania this time. Last time, I went with... I'll do blue for what I did last time. So last time, I did Wilderness. I did Kandaran, and I did Asgarnia. I think this time, I'm going to go with Great Karend, Mauritania, and I think I'm going to pick... Uh, I don't... It's one of these three. One of the three that I did last time. I might do... I think if I do Kendaren, that would be purely so I can... Uh, nah, because I want to do Great Karen. I'll probably go, get, I'll go Great Karen first. Mauritania second. Or maybe I'll go Asgarnia. Maybe the Wilderness. Maybe I will go Wilderness. Yeah, maybe I'll go Wilderness. Fuck it. Yeah, nah, let's do it. Now just rag cunts. Yeah. Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll go Great Karen... You get Miss you get Miss Allen first, you get Karamja first. Then I think I'm gonna go Karen second. Then I'll probably go Wilderness third, and then Mauritania fourth. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Miss and Karamja are in the same region. Yeah, they are, but they're um Miss they they are unlocked at the same time, yeah. D Claws from Karen for Wildy, but you also get Void Waker. Asgarnia for Gobbles Dungeon, must be thing oh no, yeah, Mauritania, yeah. Asgarnia for Gobbles Dungeon. Uh, must bubble for Nightmare and Tob. I, I don't really need uh, Gobble's Dungeon for Nightmare and Tob. I don't think you're going to need it. I think uh, killing people in the wilderness would be more fun. Rev weapons would be more fun. W uh, Void Worker would be more fun. Major in a cape too. More fun. I think Wilderness third because if you get into the wilderness early, you can get content out of the way before PKers rock up. Um... And then if I'm desperate, I can go to Mauritania, get a salve and shit, and really gear myself for the rev case. Void Waker over Bofa? Yeah, I think so, because um, at the end of the day, a Dragon Hunter crossbow or a Tebow um, is far more valuable than a Bofa from Karend. Um, a cr fuck, a crossbow if I have to. Mauritania doesn't really offer many ranged weapons outside of maybe the Carol's crossbow, um, but that's totally fine. I think Great Karend has got me covered on the range and mage front. Obviously, Sang Staff from Tob. While you have Ancestral from Karend. Wilderness just offers um, fun more than anything. If you get Tebow, uh, you're true. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry, set. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so I, th I think that's how I'm going to play it out. At the moment. Until we know more, I might change it. Um, and make the assumption that when you hit Tier 7, you get access to another region for a day. They, did, they were going to do it last time, they chose not to. But if they do that, that is when you can decide, okay, I'm going to go to this time, I'll go to this place for a day and hunt a, t hunt a uh, bofa or a blowpipe, right? Go to the elf place. Asgarnia, that's when you spend the whole day inside Gobble's dungeon. What about range armor with the Tebow? Carols. Like, yeah, Barras. Barras has got you covered in Mauritania. No desert for TOA. I don't really care about TOA, to be honest. I don't think TOA is worth it. Run TOA for one day for Missouri. You can do that, yeah. You know, Kandara. But like, if you can, if you got a, a pet that lets you run a place for a day, you can just do them all, right? You go to Fremenic, you get yourself a, a, a... You don't do anything in Fremenic, actually. Fremenic is dog shit. Going Fremenic is terrible. So you just don't waste your time, right? You, you, you get rid of that. Pretend that doesn't exist. It's shit. All right? And then you just fuck around here. You go to get yourself a light bearer. I, I think this is the this is the best way to go about it, in my opinion. 
for me, for what I want to do. That's what you can expect to see for leagues. I will be trying to do daily... I'm, I'm thinking I'm trying to do daily um, video content. I'll probably just stream it and upload like clips or whatever or do some uh, daily um, leagues for uploads. Absolutely. If I can, or at least buy daily. Getting the Vorkov head and that it's, uh, that's it from Fremen. Yeah, pretty much. So that's happening towards the end of the year. What do they combine Fremen and Kandaren? No, they won't do that. I, I don't think they're doing that. They'll make it white or too valuable in my opinion. For Kandaren for sure. Uh, one chatter only person in Fremen looking for BA. Yeah, exactly, right? Only one person wanted Fremen for Barbarian and Assault, which even goes with Kandaren anyway, but don't tell them. Let them choose Fremen first. Anyways, that's the tier list, and that's also what I'm doing for the League's Fall so far, boys. I hope you enjoy that. I'm going to, um... Shit. Um, I need to reverse all that for the save real quick. But you know what I want to do. You've seen it. You heard it. And I'll be uploading this after the stream so you can come back, watch, and laugh at all my shitty choices when the League comes out and realize that I made a mistake. But until then... This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him. God damn. Fuck, mate. Look at that boy. It's huge.